News that's coming in from the state of West Bengal. Former TMC Badgaon Civic Chief Shankar Adhya has finally been arrested. Shankar Adhya has been arrested in the Russian scam. Enforcement Directorate team was in the state of West Bengal to carry out raids with regards to the Russian scam. Now, it was during these raids that the ED officials were attacked. My colleague Suryagini is now joining me on the story. Suryagini, shocking visuals came from the state of West Bengal when the entire country saw how there were some ED officials who were on duty when they were attacked by close to 500 people. Now, former TMC chief, civic chief Shankar Adhya has finally been arrested. Well, uh, Ashwarya, you know, to give a preview to whatever happened yesterday, uh, two ED officials, three rather, ED officials were badly injured when they, uh, you know, they headed towards a raid in Shandesh Kali in North 24 Parganas in, at, the, at a house of a Trinamool Congress heavyweight leader named Sheikh Shah Jahan. Uh, multiple raids were happening throughout North 24 Parganas and South 24 Parganas and Shankar Adhya was one of those, uh, the house was one of those places where the ED had raided uh, yesterday, uh, in, in the first part of yesterday. Uh, he was the civic chief of the Bonga municipality and uh, in the in the ongoing investigation of the uh, PDS or the uh, Russian scam that is known that is it's being termed as colloquially he has been arrested and uh, late last night when he was arrested yes there was a commotion over there where some of his supporters had tried to uh, you know uh, block the ED officers and the uh, and the central forces from taking him uh, out of his house. That is when uh, the uh, the CRPF had uh, resorted to my lati charge to make sure that you know uh, the incident that we had seen earlier in the day, like uh, uh, in relation to Shandesh Khali, where three of the ED officials were badly injured. That kind of a scenario doesn't you know reappear once again. So. Uh, in, in relation to this particular scam and the raids that had conduct, that were being conducted since yesterday morning, so, uh, this particular person named uh, Shankar Adhyay, who was the former right. civic chief of uh, Bonga municipality, has been arrested by the ED. Back to you. So, Ragini, stay on with me on the story because there's a big political face-off that has now taking, taken place over the attack on the ED officials during an official raid in the state of West Bengal. In fact, in another incident, Enforcement Directorate officials were attacked by a mob when they went to arrest TMC leader Shankar Adhya. In fact, a mob geraud ED officials soon after the arrest of Shankar Adhya and went on to attack the team. The police present on the spot resorted to Lati charge to disperse the crowd. These incidents have now ignited a big political fury. Opposition is now demanding that there needs to be a precedence rule in the state of West Bengal. In fact, releasing a statement, the Enforcement Directorate revealed that there was a mob of 800 to 1,000 people and they were all carrying lati, stones, bricks and they all attacked officials. Now, along with three ED officials, 27 CRPF personnel were also attacked by the same mob. The mob went on to snatch their mobile phones, their laptops, cash and wallets, as well as vandalizing the agency's vehicles. Now, condemning West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, the BJP has termed the attack as a direct assault on the federal structure of the country. West Bengal Governor, in fact, met the injured ED officials and said that this incident is extremely alarming. It's a challenge to democracy. Bengal is under attack. Democracy is under attack. This is something which cannot be tolerated at any cost. We will certainly stem the road. The constitution of India is there. The legal system of India is there. We will activate everything possible to see that mobocracy is not allowed to rule the roost in Bengal. Look, in Bengal, there is no such thing as the people of Bengal. There is no such thing as the Kim Jong Un government. Adhir Ranjan has said that if people are killed, then there is no such thing as the people of Bengal. मंत्री जाते हैं उनको प्रोटोकॉल की गाड़ियां नहीं तो ये ममता बनर्जी का लोकतंत्र है जो ऑनरेबल जस्टिस गांगुली का ऑब्जर्वेशन है वो एकदम सही है क्योंकि ईडी जैसे संस्था की स्थापना भारतीय के संविधान के ऊपर बेस करके किया गया है इस स्थिति में अगर भारतीय संविधान द्वारा कोई संस्था एम्पावर्ड कोई संस्था अगर अपना काम करते हुए ऐसी हमलाओं की शिकार हो ऐसा लग रहा है कि हम पश्चिम बंगाल में नहीं शायद बांग्लादेश में है या पाकिस्तान में है ऐसा स्थिति 
कुछ जगह पे तैयार किया गया है तृणमूल कांग्रेस लीडरों के द्वारा देखिए तृणमूल वाले जो बात बोल रहे हैं ये तो आ, सारे बंगाल को मालूम है कि तृणमूल सरकार किस तरह से पहले बाम सरकार ने बोलता था कि गुंडा को कंट्रोल करता करते थे और आज तृणमूल सरकार को गुंडा कंट्रोल करते हैं आज संदेश खाली में जो घटना हुआ है वो निंदाजनक है और जो भाजपा जो बंगाल के लोग हर मोमेंट बोलते आ रहे कि बंगाल में लॉ एंड ऑर्डर सिचुएशन खत्म हो गया है संविधान डेमोक्रेसी खत्म कर दिया गया है कौन किया है ये ममता सरकार ये ममता बनर्जी आज फिर से वो प्रमाण हो गया Suryagini now one of the questions on everyone's mind is that how did so many people gather at the spot that too with stones and lathis As for you know the uh, earlier estimate uh, when we came to know about this particular incident early uh, uh, you know early morning yesterday uh, was that you know 100 to 200 people at max uh, you know had uh, you know had uh, you know were involved in this particular in this kind of the attack that had happened on the ed officials but late in the evening when the ed issued their version the ed has you know gone on to say that um, it's around 800 to 1000 people who had gathered out them they had uh, physically assaulted them even the ed has uh, you know stated that their phones were being snatched their wallets were being snatched and uh, the people the mob had uh, you know uh, had lathis and uh, 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 you know sticks uh, in their hand and uh, they had attacked them so this is this is what the ed has been saying so now coming back to your question uh, it only an investigation can you know uh, uh, you know you know find what led to this particular attack a ghastly attack that had happened on the ed officers uh, the bjp has been demanding an nia right. investigation right from the, the moment we broke the news the, the the bjp leaders they have been tweeting about an nia investigation because they claim right. that uh, there are illegal immigrants especially rohingyas who are living over there and these are the people who were used in a planned attack this is the statement of the bjp however the trinamool congress has uh, you know they have condemned this attack they have right. said that there's no place of violence in the state however but they have gone on to you know say that the 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 crpf and the ed officials they had provoked the crowd the provoked the mob which led to this particular kind of an incident that we had seen now only an investigation be it a police investigation or whatsoever a central agency investigation right so yagni my colleague they're giving us details and saying that what it seems like at the moment is that Uh, this is what the tmc is claiming that it was the ed officials who made provocative statements because of which the mob finally attacked them now unbelievable scenes came in from the state of west bengal there was a team of ed officials who were on official duty they were in the state to conduct a raid on tmc neta's residence in 24 north parganas now this after they reached the spot there was an angry mob that attacked these officials leaving them bleeding and most of them later had to be hospitalized Now this incident has now triggered a massive political face off. Unprecedented and unwarranted. These were the scenes in Sandesh Khali village in North 24 Parganas in West Bengal on Friday. At the receiving end of the attack was a team of enforcement directorate officials from Kolkata. The team led by Bengal ED additional director Ravindra Dahia was heralded by an angry mob of 200 people. The attack took place when the officials were about to raid the residence of TMC leader Sheikh Shah Jahan, allegedly involved in a ration scam. Soon a political face off ensued between the BJP and the TMC with Bengal's ruling party accusing the Narendra Modi government of provoking the attack Us rajya ka jo law and order hai puri tarah se collapsed ho chuka hai ye aisa ghatna ka hum tibra ninda karte hain they provoked the local people badly that's why there was a counter reaction spontaneously the real fact is the people of india they are totally frustrated seeing this deep rooted conspiracy in the in and monitored by delhi 
on daily basis and that too in case of Trinamool Congress so far in our state of West Bengal is concerned. I reserve all my constitutional options. Governor C. V. Ananda Bose warned the Mamta Banerjee government of consequences. It is the bounden duty of a civilized government to stop barbarism and vandalism in a democracy. If government fails in its basic duty, then the Constitution of India will definitely take its course. State BJP wrote to the Union Home Ministry seeking an NIA probe on the incident and blamed Rohingya refugees for the attack on the ED team. बंगाल में रोहिंगा मुस्लिम जो है उनको घुस के बंगाल की पूरी लॉ एंड ऑर्डर को क्या कर चुके हैं और ये जो ईडी के साथ हो रहा है ये सिर्फ ईडी के साथ नहीं हो रहा है ये अपना बंगाल का बंगालियों का फ्यूचर दिखा रहा है बंगालियों के साथ भी ऐसे आगे आने वाले समय में होने वाला है the Congress, an ally of the TMC at the national level, claimed that law and order had completely collapsed in Bengal. इसमें ये जगजाहिर होते हैं कि बंगाल में कानून और व्यवस्था की हाल कितना बुरा होते जा रहे हैं क्योंकि बंगाल में ये सारे आदि हैं आज जख्मी हुए हैं कल ईडी वाले अगर खत्म हो जाए खून हो जाए तो हमें मुझ जैसे लोगों के लिए ये अच्छा कीमत नहीं होगी विद सूर्य अग्नि रॉय इन नॉर्थ ट्वेंटी फोर परगनास ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे